friends, it's Mr. Alex from Adams Memorial Library, and I'm here with another origami project that I think you'll absolutely fall in love with, an origami heart. Now, before we get started, don't forget that if you'd like to participate in the online origami club, you can stop here at the library, either at our front desk or curbside pickup to get your very own online origami club kit. And in this kit, you're going to get a variety of different paper that has different patterns and colors that are perfect for the projects that I'm about to show you. Now, before we begin uh, on our origami heart, we're going to need just a few things. So let me show you what we'll need. Okay, so for this origami project, we're going to need a couple of things that are probably already pretty familiar to you. We're going to need a practice sheet of paper to get really, really good at making our origami hearts. We're going to need our final sheet of paper from our online origami club kit. We'll need a pair of scissors to trim down our practice paper if it's not a perfect square. And now mine is a square because I have origami paper, but you might be using copy paper, notebook paper, uh, or some other kind of stationery, in which case having scissors can be very important. We're going to need some glue. And this isn't an absolute necessity, but I find that if you're gonna mail or hand out your Valentine hearts uh, made out of origami, sometimes having some glue to glue them down is a little bit easier. So definitely consider grabbing that. And finally, I have a marker. And we always have a marker for decorating on our list, but it's especially important this time because if we want to write a Valentine's Day message on our hearts, uh, we obviously need something to write with. So go ahead and gather all of that up, and it's time to finally make our origami hearts. Alrighty, so the first step to making our origami heart is that we wanna figure out which side of our paper we want to be the outside of our heart. In this case, uh, my choice is pretty simple. I want this side with the pattern, with these awesome cats, to be the outside of my heart. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip that face down. Once I flipped it face down, uh, we are gonna quarter our paper diagonally. So I'm just gonna take and fold this corner to this corner, line them up perfectly, and give it a nice sharp crease. Then I'll open up my paper, take this corner to this corner, Fold it again, lining them up perfectly, and make a nice sharp crease. Alrighty. So, once our paper is quartered like this, and you can sort of see my fold lines, we are going to take our top point up here, and we're going to fold it to the center point right here. So I'm going to go ahead and make that fold now. Then we wanna take our bottom point and fold it the whole way up to the top. Now there's not gonna be an exact point to fold to, but you can sort of use this line down the center as a guideline, and you wanna make sure that this point ends up right on that guideline at the top there. So I'm gonna line mine up carefully, just like that, and give it a nice sharp crease. Alrighty, so at this point we have a shape that looks like this. Now, uh, you're gonna be able to see that that guideline that we were folding to now extends the whole way up the center of our project. And again, it's a little bit tricky to see on camera, but you should have a center line uh, right about here in your project. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold against that line and we're going to fold one side up like this so that our project looks like this right along that guideline. Give it a nice sharp crease. And then we're gonna do the same thing with this side. We're just gonna fold it up right along the center guy line so that it looks like this. And now something that I've noticed as I've made a couple of these origami hearts before is that um, if your center crease isn't exactly perfect, then your uh, the sides of your hearts might be a little lopsided. Uh, one side might be bigger or some of these folds might be longer than each other. Uh, and that can be okay. Uh, if it's something that you're proud of, that's all that matters. But if you want it to be absolutely even, uh, then you may want to refold and retry until you get that center line lined up perfectly. So I'm pretty happy with how this has turned out. And so now what we're going to do is flip our heart over and we're going to round off the edges a bit. So we're gonna take each of this, uh, sorry, each of these corners, this corner here and this corner here, we're gonna fold those in slightly. just like that. And then we're going to do the same with these top points here and fold them down slightly. You can even use the center lines as a, guide, as a guiding point. 
So now we have something that looks like this. And when we flip it over, it looks like an origami heart. Now, here is where our glue comes in. So as I mentioned before, um, if you are going to just keep the heart for yourself or maybe uh, decorate somewhere at home with, it's not that important to glue it down. And true origami doesn't use glue or tape anyway. But uh, if I would like to mail this one, which I do, um, then I think that it would be really great to glue down some of these pieces so that our heart doesn't come apart in the envelope. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab our glue stick. I'm going to glue down each of these points here. And I'm gonna glue each of these flaps down to this paper inside. And that's gonna help our heart become really sturdy. So let's go ahead and do that now. Alrighty, so as you can see, I really pressed down on our heart here and I applied a lot of glue. And now our heart's pretty sturdy. It doesn't come apart, the flaps don't uh, push up. And so now this heart is finished and ready to be mailed. Now, as I mentioned before, you could always take your marker, crayon, or other decorating supply, and you could write a message on the front of your heart, and you could maybe say Happy Valentine Day, or tell someone how much you appreciate them, and then send it off to someone special to you. Uh, I won't write on this heart because, as always, my origami paper doesn't do a very good job with things like markers or crayons, but uh, if you used a different type of paper, it might be the perfect opportunity to do something like that. So keep this in mind, decorate your heart however you would like it, glue it down, don't glue it down, it's all up to you. Uh, but once you're finished, you're gonna have a really great origami heart. And I'll show you what my final project looks like at the end of the video. Alrighty, and after lots and lots of practice, especially with that fold right down the center of our heart, I took my online origami club paper and I made this origami heart. I even took a marker and I wrote a message down the middle of it as we were talking about. So now, it's a great gift for Valentine's Day. Uh, don't forget that we would love to see any origami hearts that you make. So send those pictures on over to kids at adamslib.org and be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube for all sorts of great updates about all of the fun things we're doing here at the library. I hope you have a great time making uh, these hearts for your Valentine's Day gifts. And as always, happy crafting. Hey.